unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Coming to your live box and ego unpack. Yeah. We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder from Tuscaloosa, Alabama dodged a bullet not signing a three-fight deal to DAZN and we gonna talk about it. We unpack. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button also subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Now, I'm gonna jump right into it. We unpack coming to you live. The streets is talking. Now, I wanted to make this video, follow-up video, you knew it was coming. Deontay Wilder, he's been very silent, and I like it, I love it. Silence is killing a lot of the ops. When the grass is cut, the snakes to show. So he's just chilling right now. We don't know what his next move is. But I wanna talk about the subject of Wilder turning down the DAZN deal, because I distinctly remember at the time, I supported on my channel, New Media. I supported his maneuver or his move, he said, Simply put, I don't want to sign a deal to them. You know, I'm going to be loyal to the people who've been loyal to me. And furthermore, I'm betting on myself. Now, on my channel, I received a lot of flack for that. People said, oh, you just love Wilder and whoop, whoop, whoop. And he should have signed and he's an idiot. He'll never receive money like this again. Right. That's what they said. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. If you look at the most recent highest paid celebrity Deontay Wilder placed number 59 with 46.5 million dollars Forbes high this is the Forbes highest paid celebrity of 2020 list keep in mind he hasn't even fought Fury a third time and if he gets past Fury that could set up a fourth Fury fight if he wants that which I don't know that he would but maybe Joshua Dillian White, Povetkin winner, you know, might be the mandatory. So he has tons of options to continue. And if he knocks out Tyson Fury in the third fight, you know, the sky's the limit. People, every time I do a water video is getting numbers, people are still concerned. So you see the DAZN ship looks to be sinking. A lot of what Eddie Hearn said is not looking true. And again, I made videos about this in real time, new media, and I expressed that Wilder's betting on himself and he has every right to do that. And we'll see what happens. Boom. Look, I remember I was in New York. I went to the Wilder press conference. They said, oh, he turned down the deal because this was right before the Dominic Brazil fight. So you see me right there one year ago. People didn't like what I had to say. But now fast forward to the future. Should Wilder have taken that deal? And it's looking more clear than ever that that was a good deal to turn down. Look, one year ago, real reason Deontay Wilder turned down his own $100, $100 million deal in the new quotes, right? Look, I did a video. You see that? It was a live stream. Wilder's smart to turn down his own offer. The devaluing of black fighters. The Klitschko deal proves blah, blah, blah. Right. People said, oh, you're crazy. No one's devaluing black fighters. But yet and still, Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder without DAZN's money, which I'll get to in a second. He's doing pretty well for himself, I must say. Now, I want to revisit when I was in New York and this is Wilder, his co-manager, Shelly Finkel. Let's hear what he had to say about the DAZN deal and this was right after they had the meeting with DAZN, which went horrible per DAZN's John Skipper. They made some mistakes. If you don't believe me, I have all my ducks in a row. DAZN's executive chairman, John Skipper, admits to, quote, messing up $100 million Deontay Wilder deal. So it's looking great for new media and it's looking horrible for old media. So they admit that they didn't handle the deal right. That's DAZN, which we'll get into more. But this was at the time, you know, controversial because Wilder didn't take their accept their offer. This is what Shelly Finkel, his co-manager, had to say 
regarding why it didn't you know play out like that and why they went to showtime now fox and stayed on pbc controls it he doesn't need to be part of the zone he doesn't need to be part of espn if there's a joint promotion who he chooses that can happen so he has that flexibility no one else in the heavyweight division does it's always oh they offered him we offered 50 million to joshua he didn't take it this was not the right time for the offer and time will show what he's going to be doing and it'll be bigger and more profit and a better career for him he'll be active in the next nine months from the may 18th he'll fight three times mm. yeah yeah just that the, the skill thing you know so you heard from him himself he said it'll prove over time that this wasn't the right time for the deal and he made the right decision and i think those words couldn't be any truer right now but i will, but I will tighten up a couple of things i will get some people Let's with the vision of probably the most exciting fighter in in all of boxing period because of what i do because of how i speak and how i deliver and it comes true i'm the realest champion i touch the people people can relate to me all over there was a special comment by max kellerman saying that yourself joshua and tyson fury bring the excitement and that the heavyweight boxing is truly back can you just compare and contrast your era of heavyweight boxing to the past if you may well you know i i, I can't i can't really differentiate the two you know because i'm a young you know what i'm saying i come from tuscaloosa alabama it's built all about football and basketball over there you know my mindset wasn't to own too many fights and stuff from the scale from <laughs> we wanted to hear what they had to say they made a very substantial offer but at this point in his career what he has accepted to go forward was better and better for him. Mm. This is Dazon. Yes, but we also feel when Deontay knocks Joshua out, we want millions and millions of people to see it. And at this point, the zone doesn't have that. So, so if oh my gosh, at this point, the zone doesn't have that. Now, a quick word from our sponsor. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more sports. Get unlimited access to premium content with an ESPN Plus subscription. ESPN Plus offers a variety of content, including specials, behind-the-scenes docuseries like Bruce Lee's, B. Walter, and much more. With an ESPN Plus subscription, you get access to a ton of classic archive fights and replays from boxing and the UFC. Big names like, hi, I'm Mike Tyson. Come and watch my fight. Floyd Mayweather, easy work. I'm rich. And Manny Pacquiao. Uh, yes, it's up to my promoter. Do, 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 do. Just to name a few. If that's not enough, you could get the ESPN bundle, which includes ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus. All three apps, one low price. You don't want to miss out. Make sure you guys click that link in the description box of all of my videos ego signing off over time especially after the pandemic hit it looks like they have a lot of ground to make up and they may be exiting from the american market as far as boxing they seem to be more successful in other parts of the world japan austria switzerland germany spain whatever right you see canelo alvarez who's currently the biggest star in the zone the zone wants canelo alvarez to take a pay cut delaying the fight announcement now they're saying we don't know if Canelo is even going to fight this year. They're trying to make him fight in November, December or something like that. Canelo taking significant pay cut in his next fight, says Golden Boy Prez, right? Several. Canelo's latest fight delayed by DAZN discount request, right? You see these. So there was really no guarantee that Wilder would have seen through this deal. Canelo taking a significant pay cut. DAZN and Canelo... Alvarez reportedly at odds over financial situation. So if Canelo's the biggest star and somebody who's done more pay-per-views than Deontay Wilder has done, and you can't even get him squared away and you want him to do a pay cut, I heard they want Gennady Golovkin hand on guys, to take a pay cut, then how are you going to pay Deontay Wilder $100 million? How are you going to... Tyson Fury went to ESPN in top rank. So how do you facilitate that fight? That was Wilder's last fight, and it's supposed to be his next fight. So how do you facilitate that on DAZN when that's a ESPN fighter? 
and a BT sports fighter with a platform. So Shelly Finkel and Ego and Deontay Wilder looked like we had a crystal ball because we told you that this stuff wasn't making sense. And, you know, people could throw money at you. Again, I did the video. It's all up here a year ago. You see that people could throw money at you, but that doesn't mean the money's good. That There's a lot of people, you know, you can win an auction on eBay, but you actually have to execute and produce produce the amount of money that you said that you could produce. The zone is already on record again. Exhibit A admitting that they messed up says the retrospect. I was too brash going in there without creating the relationships I needed to create with the people who advised Deontay Wilder. I have now worked to do that. It has to do with going back to education I needed before getting into boxing. When we left that Wilder meeting, I knew we messed up and we weren't going to be successful with Wilder. End quote. So, you know, I just, I, I had to remind y'all. Y'all must have forgot. Y'all must have forgot. This is also the latest news. Bloomberg, August 19th. Bloomberg. So they have all kinds of business related articles and financials. The zone eyes one billion dollars in new funding push. The zone group LTD, the sports streaming service backed by billionaire Lynn Blavnik, has revived talks to raise new funding after spending heavily on his global expansion. People with knowledge of the matter says. So if you look at the latest in financials and trends and the vital statistics, the zone is trying to get one billion dollars now to continue because they've overpaid guys like Canelo and Triple G. And now it doesn't make sense. And then they got hit heavily by the pandemic. So, again, did Wilder make the right choice? I would say yes. I said it at the beginning, but now it's looking more abundantly clear. Keep in mind before the pandemic, right? Before the pandemic, DeZone had hired Goldberg's, I mean, excuse me, Goldman Sachs to raise 500 million. Now they've doubled that 500 million times two, and now they're looking for more money. They want a billion dollars to revive and expand and keep it going. Look, DeZone, DeZone hired an advisor to help raise at least 500, and that was Goldman Sachs. 500 million last year only to shelve the plans when the Rona crisis struck and forced the suspension of sports around the world, which hit them hard because you can't be charging $20 a month, have a dead schedule where nobody can have live events. You don't have uh, a backlog of programming. And this is not Netflix where you have movies or ESPN where they had a 10 part Michael Jordan, the last dance docuseries, and they just expedited the you know, getting it out and finished editing it, you know, and, and doing the, the production on it. They had nothing. They had no game plan. They weren't ready for the pandemic. Now that 500 million is doubled and they're looking for a billion dollars. So again, who was right? Boxing Ego, Ego, Ego Valley, Deontay Wilder betting on himself. You were trying to raise 500 mil last year, right before the pandemic. Late last year, those are the reports that are out. Now you want a billion dollars. And a billion dollars for something that appears broken. They're trying to give Canelo and Golovkin pay cuts. Ryan Garcia, Luke Campbell still hasn't been announced, but a deal was allegedly agreed upon two months ago. Right. Jorge Linares tested positive for the Rona. So his fight got canceled. Never been rescheduled. Usyk Chisora hasn't been scheduled. You have no fights like Showtime or Fox. The Errol Spence. Sean, or excuse me, Errol Spence, Danny Garcia, um, top rank has a good fight with Loma and Teofimo. You're not involved in none of the biggest fights. You had a stale four to six months during the pandemic where, you know, we couldn't have live events. And now you haven't released the remainder of your schedule. So again, I ask you who made the right decision. Deontay Wilder, he's on the pay-per-view system, something that DAZN was against. He's on the pay-per-view system and he's doing well for himself. Plus, he got another Fury pay-per-view. If he knocks out Fury, then he can continue being on pay-per-view and, you know, the sky's the limit. So it's looking like checkmate. A lot of people disagreed when I said the video. That's why I had to come back and remind y'all. It is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. But De Deontay Wilder betting on himself. This was the best decision that he's made. He's been silent right now, but, you know, I can't wait for him to come back 
and say what he got to say. But a lot of people look foolish right now. And the zone's struggling in America. They, they needed a person like Deontay Wilder to help that. But they can't even pay Canelo. What makes you believe that they would fulfill De Deontay Wilder's contract? The last thing I'll say is this. Wilder, this was before the Brazil fight, which happened in, in May of um, last year, I believe, right? That they had the meeting that was failed, as you guys see. It says, we were impatient, having some early success. We wanted to move quickly. So John Skipper documents the horrible approach that they had and how he knew after the meeting was concluded that they weren't going to sign Wilder because they messed up. This was right before the Brazil fight. Wilder's mandatory at the time. And two, three weeks later, because you remember Wilder had the viral knockout of Brazil in the first round, a guy that Anthony Joshua fought, that put more pressure on Anthony Joshua, who had a fight a couple weeks after that, June 1st, I think. It's supposed to be Gerald Miller, failed a drug test, so they replaced him with Andy Ruiz. Guess what? Joshua loses that fight to Andy Ruiz and forces, just like Dillian White's doing with Povetkin, and forced an immediate rematch. So this alleged three-fight deal was supposed to be a Brazil-type fight for the first fight, $20 million, and it was assumed that he was going to get Joshua in the second and third fight, which would have been $40 million apiece. I told you, one of the questions I had is, how are you going to give him $40 million without knowing the outcome, and then he gets $40 million presumably to fight Joshua in the third fight? Why is he still getting the same amount of money? Didn't make sense. Beyond that, Joshua was no longer undefeated because he lost two weeks after the Brazil fight to Andy Ruiz by stoppage. So what would Wilder be doing on DAZN at that point? So these situations that you're seeing with Canelo Alvarez where they don't want to pay him and do pay cut, this could have probably already happened because they don't do pay-per-view. You know, they came out bye-bye pay-per-view and Joshua had a score to settle and he had to get his belts back through Andy Ruiz. So he was tied up for the rest of the year. So why did Wilder need to be on the zone to fight Brazil, which he fought on Showtime? And then how are you facilitate the Tyson Fury fights? You don't need the zone for that because he just fought Tyson Fury again and he fought him on Showtime and on Fox and ESPN. And he didn't need that. He didn't need the zone. So a lot of y'all look foolish. And I told you this moment was coming. But sometimes you just got to wait. You got to wait. Deontay Wilder, who knows if they would have been able to honor his contract. No pay-per-view. And then Joshua was booked up trying to avenge his Ruiz loss. So Wilder wouldn't have, there was no promise and no guarantee, which is what I told you from the beginning, that he would have even got to fight Joshua. Because, again, Joshua had to just try to revive his stock by even getting his belt back from Ruiz. So Wilder would have fought Brazil, someone he could have fought on Showtime or Fox. And then who else? You know, who else does his own have? Dillian White? You know what I mean? Povetkin? He would have been fighting nonsense fights and, and allegedly they would have paid him 20 million, 40 million, 40 million. Come on. No pay-per-view. You do the math. Cap. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. We work. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.